I guess we know why Phoenix is in the goddamn hospital bed now. His tummy hurt real bad. Also, he fell off a build. Hi, ah, Jesus! Who could that be at this time of night? The Edgeworth? Yes, Edgeworth speaking. Edgy, get up! It's an emergency! <laughs> Larry, how did you how did you obtain my phone number? Never mind that. Do you know what time it is? Never mind that too. It's not Larry. It's Royce. Larissa Denum! What? what? How'd you not hang up instantly? This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and- Wait, don't hang up! It's an emergency! It's Nick. He- He took a really nasty spill! And I'm not talking about spilling coffee on your penis! Well, it wouldn't be the first time. I'm not joking, bro! His life's in danger! What? What happened? Tell me. Talk about a guy with bad luck. He may already be dead. Uh, and uh, anyway, you gotta come back. You gotta work it out. We gotta sue this place, bruh. My Iris, my beautiful Iris. She needs help, bro. Uh, all right. I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm at the detention center. Please. Hurry. It's been one year since I left that country. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion. As if I expected anything to change. Did we go play as Edgeworth? Hold up. Hold up. Do we go play as Edgeworth? Is that... Let's... I'm a sucker for protagonist switches. Hold up. Hold up. You're a late edgy boy! What took you so long? I... I don't want to hear it! I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Well, you should have chartered a faster one, bucko! That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, anyway, just listen, dude! Something happened to Miss Elise and Nikki Boy and Maya and Iris and Bikini and... What was I talking about again? Oh my god, focus! Say something, Edgy Boy! Oh, oh no! Are oh, you not feeling well either? Before I came here, I stopped by the hospital, and I paid Mr. Wright a visit. I believe I had a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. Wow. Jesus. Is he, do is he doing alright? The murder victim was the picture book author, Miss Elise Dunham. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the Temple's younger No, Okay. Alright, so it's not- It's not- Hey, it's not Phoenix. So that's good. Then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Jeez, two old days? What a slacker. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's right. You got it, Edgeworth. Good job. But they arrested her, my sweet little Iris. Oh, good heavens. However, will she get out? Uh -huh. Here I was, convinced he was the one the police had arrested. <laughs> However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. Eh, what are you talking about? My sweater? My cap? No, the... What? What? Yeah, I mean, those are a bit odd, but... They're things Wright gave to me when I was leaving his room. This... Strange, gummy-like device. He said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. Yeah, right. And the other, he couldn't possibly be asking what I think he's asking, could he? Oh! Oh! No effing way. Do we play this chapter as Edgeworth? Like, what? I'm begging you, man! Iris' trial starts tomorrow! With Nick out of the picture, you're all we got! You're the one, the only one that could represent her. Someone cleaning a window? What was that sound? Uh, what did you just say? You know, man. Represent, defend. What were you expecting? Why do you think I called you all the way from America? I mean, from Japan, from Ireland, from uh, Af... Mm, where would you go again? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who 
doesn't defend. In fact, does the opposite. Don't talk to me like I'm some kind of baby with a full diaper. I graduated from junior high, you know. <laughs> Wait, isn't that just middle school? Don't worry about it, man. I promise I won't tell. But, uh, t tell what? I mean, I heard a paper badge. Had no problem fooling an entire court before. And I mean, you know, I'll just, just, just polish it a little bit. You can, you can, you, come on, you can fool them. How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? I was only gone for a year. Please, Edgy Boy. <laughs> She's so hot. <laughs> have you even talked to this woman? No, but I plan to. At least listen to her. Just listen to her side of the story, man. Come on. So Wright wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. <sighs> Great. 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 Ugh. Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. I don't care. I mean, crap. <laughs> Edgeworth would not be that direct. You know, we know we're supposed to most likely hate Iris. I mean, she could be a twin sister. Could be one heck of a red herring. Even though the actual Dahlia had red hair. But, you know, Edgeworth doesn't know that yet. So let me introduce, you know, let me start this conversation like Edgeworth would. Let, you know, we gotta, we gotta become, the, a the actor has to become the character, so. <clears throat> I don't care who you are, I am Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> I don't know if it can be of any help, but I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. Uh, uh, um. Do try and speak up. M Mr. Wright. How is he? Mr. Lo L Loris. L How do you say that? What the frick? Loris? Mr. Loris said that... That he might even die. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Miss... What was your name again? Your last name? Hmm. Either way... That man is not a doctor. <laughs> Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you absolute buffoon. How could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he is unharmed. Hmm, so you can survive the fall without actually dying. Hmm. Oh, thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? Oh no. He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. Oh my god, no, what the? That does not sound fine to me. Shoo. I must be imagining things. This woman, I feel like I've met her before. Hmm. Not really ringing a bell. F it. Look at this weird thing I picked up. Ain't it silly? Is that an attorney's badge? Yes, this belongs to Mr. Wright. Really? I'm actually a prosecutor. Uh, oh. Then why do you have a defense attorney's badge? pin on your lapel. Well, you see, I'm borrowing it at the moment. Just a little fun, you know. Is it Magatama time? I, I don't know. I'm so effing excited. But at the same time, like, bruh, it just, it, is, Fien is Edgeworth gonna meet, like, Maya and, like, Pearly? I mean, I guess like, he knows Pearly, but I don't know. That, that prospect's exciting. So, Iris... I don't believe you're similar to the Mario Brothers, and that's also your last name, is it? Pardon me. I'd like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have this distinct feeling you and I have met somewhere before. It must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Village. Or the temple. Also, I'm blushing. <laughs> Hazakura Temple. Now, do tell, what is that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. Have you ever seen DBZ? It's like, it's like Kami's hideout. You know. I can't say I'm familiar with that form of children entertainment. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power, you see. Spiritual power. Yeah, okay. Did you go to that temple for that reason as well, Miss Iris? Uh, no. 
I don't have any spiritual powers. Fair. I don't need them, you see. In that case, what are you doing at that temple, then? Um... I... Uh... I've committed some sins. Sins that I need to pay for. <coughs> That's why I'm here. I mean, there. Currently, I'm not there, but I'm here instead. You know what I'm trying to say. And when I continue to train to purify my soul... Uh-huh. So you're guilty of something. It's interesting that if this was the real Dolly, she'd admit that to Edgeworth's face. Is she or is she not? I don't know. I, I honestly can't tell. I know it's like, it's dumb. But her mannerisms are really different. In the, like, the time gap, right? Maybe, yeah, she's wisened up a bit. And knows how to hide things a bit better. But you still can't argue. She, she need a scheme to get out of jail. If that's the case, bruh, if Dahlia can get out of jail, bruh, freaking anybody can get out of jail if they can get a life sentence. Jeez, that's scary. The night of the crime. So what were you up to? I want to ask you about that night. Last night, the night of the crime, just so we're totally clear. All right, I can do that. I helped to clean up after dinner, and then went back to my room at about 8 o'clock. Later, I left my room to ring the bell for lights out at 10 p.m. Bell. Hmm. 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 I don't know why I said that, but I, you know. Like, it's, it's very precise, is what I'm getting at the time. It's kind of sketchy. We ring it at the same time each night. Aren't we just a little wacky? Yes. I can see that. Then what happened? A and then... Mm hmm? I was told to go to the training hall, but I went back to my room and stayed there. Uh, why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? Seems rather re seem a little old to be during your rebellious ages, Miss Iris. I, I was scared. Frightened. You, oh, f I don't want to try to say 52. 25 year old woman. Let me guess. Ghosts? So I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. There's more to horse story, I just know there is. Maybe I should dig a bit deeper. What were you so afraid of? You were asked to go to the hall, but you didn't. Why was that? Uh, well, y yes. However, you didn't go. Why didn't you go? I've asked this like 20 different times with 15 different synonyms. Because you said you were frightened? Really? What exactly were you so scared of? Maybe a prosecutor? <laughs> <laughs> Something's funny about Edgeworth imagining everyone's worst fear. Me. Obviously, Iris was afraid of the most talented prosecutor in all of Japanifornia was around the corner. <laughs> That's it! It's it! It's true! He's the greatest. What in the What? 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 What in the world? Ah! Ah! Mr. Edgeworth! Ah! 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 Is something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry. No, it's nothing. Ghosts aren't real. Only prosecutors are real. Ta uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Looks like she's not aware of this in, 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 imminent domain. You must be what Wright was talking about. Psych logs? My god! He's not as buffoonish as I thought! Curse this day. I believe he said that I need to present this Megatama to do something. I mean, Ashworth doesn't know Japanese, you know, whatever. Or does he? Ooh, he is very smart. His favorite show is... What's that show called again? Epic Silver Samurai? Whatever the frick, like seven? Epic Seven Samurais? I mean, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh archetype, bro. What the frick am I talking All right. Iris would be mad tripping. Girl, why are you lying about everything? She want to say why she was scared. Did you see the killer? Is that it? It's got to be it. Did you pass by a mirror? Ooh. So, do you have any idea as to what really occurred last night? I, I think it was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. S spiritual power? Come on. Yes, spiritual training has been a cause of many great tragedies. This incident was just another example 
That girl, you see, she's not right. She's terrified. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, domain expansion. Oh, yes, it's so scary how she makes the room all dark. Yeah, we've, been, we've established this. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. You see, ghosts and spirits, they're not real. They simply cannot fit into the court record, so I refuse to accept them. I'm a man of science, you see. I don't believe in spiritual powers. Yes, I understand. Most people do not. And I'm certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human being. Or a very intelligent gopher. But, we'll talk about big... Nut? <laughs> we cannot call the missing link gopher big nut. That is not... It, oh my god. Do I cut that out? My improv skills are lacking, bro. I digress, so please answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Dinum? No. I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Eh? Hmm! This lawyer thing's harder than I thought. <laughs> At least offending people. Those psychwalk things are not appearing. How peculiar. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. Well, Ezra's picking up on this fast, dude. You got, man, give him, give him that sounded like a slap on the freaking back. I'm trying to do a gentle pat, and I just, ah, break that hurt. <laughs> well then, what's wrong? I, I felt a uh, shiver up my spine. That's all. I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power, and yet. Huh. It appears that about all that you can tell me at the moment. Thank you very much for listening to my story. Do come again. Uh, this is... This is not an, uh, an establishment I'd make a repeat visit to. I, I visited right at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of... You, as it were. Is he... Is he asking for you to hit me? Like an assassin? No, that is not... Uh, he's asking for, well, me to defend you in the trial tomorrow. Not to take care of you, as it were. Oh. Darn it. I mean, that's fine, too. If Mr. Wright had that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I would gladly entrust my fate to your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know Mr. Wright? Uh... uh... Why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little... strange. And stranger than he actually usually acts, you see. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, what is Mr. Wright to you? Hmm. My instincts say a thorn in my side, but at the end of the day, he's a very dear and indispensable friend. Aw. Dang. He'd never say that to Phoenix, though. All right, this is between us, Iris. <laughs> it was five years ago. What? That's when... That's when I deceived him. You... You deceived him? I heard that he was... in a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why... That's why I thought it was best if I never saw him again. I wanted him to just forget about me... without learning the truth. Huh. Well, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, this is Dahlia. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. So you're doing a pretty cruddy job of all that. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will ever be able to truly recover. Iris, do you understand? It's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. Mmm, let me think about it. No, I'm okay with that. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. Do you understand? All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well, I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. Except, you know, forging evidence in the sort. You know, everything within reason. Let me just, you know, specify. <laughs> Jesus. 
I don't trust her even a little. She killed that guy, bruh. Indirectly, but come on. Johnny, she's 14. Come on, dude. I hate that argument. I hate that argument so much. There's so many effing characters from this YouTube channel. I mean, they didn't originate from this YouTube channel. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, dude, he's only he's only like 18 in two months. Like, come on. She, she did a couple mass murders. Like, what's the big deal? Like, I, I, I just can't. I just can't get over that. So, Dolly, you know what? Dolly does not get a free pass. F her. She did it. So what I'm saying is Edgeworth, you you can you know you can you can take the fall a little bit. I mean, unless she didn't actually do this, but come on, bro, you know she did it. That's enough information gathering and also slandering my defendant. <laughs> I should head to the crime scene, I suppose. Thank you for being direct, cause I was gonna I was gonna work on them psych locks for a minute, bro. This place got blasted. God dang. He may suck at drawing, but friggin' Larry can torch a place. God dang. Sure is cold, all right. I wish I had a wacky sidekick to, you know, lighten the mood a bit. So this is it, Dusky Bridge. More like Ashy Bridge, if you catch my drift. Oh wow, it's you, Mr. Edgeworth. Is it? Is it? Is it who I think it is? Is it? Is it Funny Man Extreme? Is it Tall Guy? Also Wide Guy? He's got. He loves some weenies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Duh. Detective Gumshoe? Eh, long time no see. It's been about, what, a year? Maybe 359 days? I mean, but who's counting? Ah, maybe it's been longer. It, it doesn't matter, Detective. <laughs> right when I said I wish I had a, a sidekick to increase the revenue. What does it matter? It is why you're shuffling around up here? Oh, ouch! There's that sharp left jab. Ooh, and that right hook. Ooh, and that the third kick. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Edgy boy. <laughs> Let me guess. You're you were transferred by HR to the local precinct. Way out here in the boonies. A wise decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should be quite easy to guard. I heard you were back. That's so mean. What the? I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Why do I have so many stalkers? This is a little disturbing. Everybody was real nice. They even let me charge of the investigation, sir. I'm the boss. Can you believe that? Me! <laughs> me! Gumshoe, indeed. Like gum on your shoe, he's impossible to get rid of. That's okay. I'm supposed to report on the detail of the crime scene, sir. But don't tell nobody. It's a secret. Anyway, here I am, Detective Dickoshu. Ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. Ah, ah, my back. Ah, oh. Ah, I'm reporting for duty. Great. Um, thank you, Detective, sir. You act a little funny there, Edgeworth. What's going on? I'm trying to be a hero. It's admittedly, uh, it's a little difficult to get into character. I thought per per pros Prospector Godo was go get here before me, but it looks like we're first on the scene. That guy's a real mystery, I tell you. Seriously, what's in his blend? I gotta know. I could sell that and make millions. <sighs> uh, Prosecutor Godo? What, does Edgeworth not know him? Huh? So who is this prosecutor? I've never heard of such a man. Yeah, he's a new guy. He showed up after you left the country, and well, I don't want to say he's replaced you, because that's a little rude, but yeah, for gameplay purposes, yeah, he's the antagonist. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy. He gets the job done. Unless Phoenix is there, then he puts up a good fight, but he never wins. Ooh, I love this game. I see. So, so quite the verbose uh, description. What kind of man is he? He's just a, just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good. Oh, he's real good, sir. If he's so good, how is he? How have I never heard of him? Ridiculous. Is he the real, is he the lead prosecutor in this case? Oh, you bet he is. After all, you know who is right in the middle of it. You know who? 
Uh, oh, right. Phoenix Wright, our arch enemy, Edgeworth. You know, for some reason, Godo's really got it in for him. That's usually our thing. I don't know. I know. I don't. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to feel about it. Taking our job. Uh, uh, is that right? Yes, our arch enemy. <laughs> we, we swore to never assist in any way. Yeah. I mean, I'd never help him. Would you? I mean, we, we made that vow in the first game. I'm not backing down from that if you're not. I mean, come on. He's got some kind of grudge. Really? That's our thing, too. Come on. Made me look like an idiot. After every trial, you too. Y yes, I understand the... Uh, loss of my record, but wh what is the cause of his grudge? Do you have any idea? Uh, yeah, I got no clue. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. I see. None of this is making any sense. I better look into Goto myself. Oh, tight. I'll be a call. Hey, what the job happened here? I just got back into the country, so I don't really understand the full gr sp like scope of the case. Oh, yeah, it's a real easy one. Don't sweat it. We're gonna get our burp and get her thrown in jail permanently. Well, simple as this simple does, as they say. Oh, you got no idea how much I miss this. It's not biting sarcasm of yours. I barely understand it. I barely get the grasp of it. I don't know if you're making fun of me. You're making fun of everybody. You're making fun of the world. But I love it. Ah, but on a more serious note, this one's a piece of cake. We'll be done in an hour. Taps. There was a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness? Oh god, don't tell me. Yeah, that bikini lady. And let me tell ya. I don't know if she could see anything from her lack of lateral height. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Bikini lady, here in this freezing old cold mountain. My god. Well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details. I don't know. May have to talk to this bikini lady. I, I mean, a decisive witness. <laughs> like, I just imagine Edward getting to the airport. All right, time to get to work. Meets up with Phoenix, and now he's just here, and he's like, "What, bikini lady? Like that? That's the thing that troubles him the most." So this is the bridge that Mr. Wright fell through. Oh yeah, I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Must really care about that little girl. Oh. Look before you cross is how it goes, right? Or how was, was that leap? I don't know. Who cares? Old adages. Uh, right. Is there something on the other side of this bridge? Oh, yeah. Some old building they call the Inner Temple. Well, we can't get over there without a bridge, I'm afraid. We could get a whole bunch of guys and, uh, you know, shimmy across. That's a little dangerous, you know? <clears throat> what? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. Someone is at the Inner Temple during some training, and they, uh... Yeah, they're kind of stuck there. Uh, uh, Maya? Is, is she still stuck there? That's not funny. She can starve. Again! This game is effed up, bro. This game is effed up, bro. I, I heard that from Mr. Wright. It's Maya Faye, of course. Oh, man, her again? Hey, they've got some deja vu. Did I get in a car accident last time? Oh, Ugh. anyway, the air's really turbulent right now, so we can't get, we can't do an aerial extraction. Oh my God. No one's going to be able to reach the inner temple till tomorrow, sir. Well, she'll be all right in this cold. Oh God. <laughs> Poor girl. So how did the bridge burn down? Well, we're almost 100% sure it was lightning, sir. Lightning? What? How can you how can you discern that? You're really telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning. I don't think I need to tell you the probability of that being so ridiculous. Yep, but that's what happened, 100%. Last night it snowed for the first time in three whole days. A little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that, but... According to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Uh, what? You trying to tell me someone's got control of the weather? God dang, these spirit mediums are scary. That might be actually it. I don't know. I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Huh. 
Almost too detailed. Dang, Ezra's good, bro. He's on the case. He's on the case. It even has the exact time the lightning struck the bridge. How interesting. Oh, that we got that information from the witness testimony. Uh huh. Someone actually saw a bolt of lightning hit the bridge. Who is this witness? Sorry, I'll go ask one of the local cops. I don't actually know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you like my new badge? Huh? What's that thing doing in your bell, Mr. Edward? It looks like our sworn enemy, Phoenix Wright's badge. It, is it really that odd for me to be wearing this? I don't see the issue. You bet it is! We hate his guts! I mean, there are likable attributes once you really get to know him, but I, I don't know none about that! Prosecutor wearing a defense attorney's badge. What a silly concept. That's like a detective with a license to kill. <sighs> um, okay. Does this little thing hold that ominous of a feeling? I, I, I can't agree. Let me look at this. Eagle Mountain weathered data for February 7th. Snow with occasional lightning storms. 7 to approximately 10.50 p.m. Lightning struck Dusky Bridge at 10.45, around 30 minutes past between the fire starting and going out. This is a very secluded area. I find that so hard to believe. It's, it can't be real. I mean, suspension of disbelief is one thing, but bro, this is a suspension bridge, and that's totally another thing. That bugs me, bro. Also, why would you? Ugh. The biggest twist of all is gonna be, oh yeah, Dolly was totally innocent. But I don't, I don't see how that could be the case. She has to be doing something else to want this lady dead. But is that, is that really the end game here? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know if I gotta keep talking to him, but I'll go to the main gate in the meantime. Hmm. Much to think about with this case, I gotta say. Ah! Yo, Edgy Boy! What took you so long, man? God, I've been waiting out here for hours! I'm so cold, my brain is turned into Sherbert! Good. Yeah. I, I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. Oh, God. You crazy Americans and your... Uh... Shrines. What do you mean by that? Right, it's going to be fine. And the case itself isn't anything too unusual. And I find myself taking requests to defend a woman accused of murder. My god. Hey, wait a second, why'd you run at me? Hold it, obje objection! What's going on here, Edgeworth? So this guy bothering you? Hey, buddy, don't mess with Edgeworth. He's the greatest detective and attorney and defense attorney and lecturer I know. Uh, it's quite all right. Uh, we've met before. It's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that? And you call yourself a defense attorney. You got a defense attorney. Prosecutor Edgeworth is a prosecutor, and he's a defense attorney second. You better address him as proper. Prosecutor, Edgeworth, defense attorney. Just sounds plain old weird, man. So cut the last half, all right? Prosecutor Edgeworth, am I doing a good job? Be honest with me. Be honest. Be honest. I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. Am I an antagonist, protagonist, or just... I just play antagonist. I don't... Ugh, dude! Edgy, ever since you moved to... Uh... Canada, you've been... You, man, you changed, bro. You ain't the old Edgeworth. You ain't the fourth grade Edgeworth I used to know, bro. I don't see you for a couple of years, and your heart turns to Sherbert. You make me sick. I'd say more like Sorbet, but it is rather cold here. Iris didn't murder. Someone else did it, man. Come on. I just know it. Okay. So just trust me on this one. Come on. Just, just, just trust me. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Uh, nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. Within reason, within reason, boys, within reason. We don't do that anymore. At least until I pass the baton to write, that is. Okay. I see what's happening here. Yo, what the frick? Dog, this, you know what this music reminds me of? Battle Network, wait, Capcom also made that. Oh, no, that's probably why. 
This is just Edgeworth. Yes, the internet in the far off future of 2007. How crazy will the world be? I can't remember a single important thing that happened in 2007 to me personally. I don't know. I I, I passed algebra. I... <sighs> Either way. God dang these songs, bro. God dang. So this Iris. I see you're a fan. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is just so cute. It's a shame about those inhumanly large eyeballs, which probably cause partial blindness, but... All right, edgy boy. You think she's a smoke show too, right? Don't you? Don't you? Come on. Objective for a little bit. Come on. Uh, I declined to comment. What's wrong, Edgeworth? Why are you so quiet? To put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. <laughs> Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent? No, oh, come on, a girl that cute can't possibly be a murderer. Uh huh. That was right after all. I should have never have come back. <laughs> no, don't go! <laughs> I see things for how they really are this time, man. Honest! My third eye is open. Uh, let's hope you're. <laughs> is he talking about his willy? I don't know. If I had a penny for every time he said that. It's just that, well, Iris is a delicate flower. And as you know, girls. They don't usually have the overwhelming power to kill people in a single punch, so like, I mean, you know. You can't force things too much. You know what I mean? Like, she need like a weapon, like a pole arm or like a bow and arrow of some kind, you know. Uh, I think we've lost the plot a bit here, Larry. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, uh, forget it. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Okay, I kind of get what he's getting at. Yeah. If Iris really did kill this lady, she would need some way to actually pull it off. I mean, this is also a grown woman, so like, come on. It probably was the sword, because, you know, that's what was adjacent to her. I think that's what they're getting at. Or maybe that's also a misdirection. The night of the crime. What were you up to, Larry? Yeah, what were you doing? Come on. Maybe smoking at the bridge? You know, that's what all artists do. Larry? Yeah, uh, what? D don't tell me. You think I might have done it? <laughs> what? What? Get lost. Go back on your charter jet to your beloved Manitoba. Get out of here. Get out of here, you sexist creep. I hope your plane crashes and you die. Whoa, 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 butts. Butts. That's messed up. I'll just ask one more time, Larry. You're not being accused. I simply would like to know, as your friend, your childhood friend, on the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? <laughs> of course. Uh, always the obstruction of justice, Larry Butts. You gotta hate him. He's such a pain. Ah, sorry, man. You know me. I just, I'm so forgetful. My short-term memory's all racked up because, you know, all the, all these lead-based paints, man. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember a thing, bro. Oh, God. It's gonna be sick. Gotcha. Okay. Um, In that case, can I move onward? Yes, I can. All right. We'll come back to him once we maybe figure some stuff out. Hello? Is anyone here? Oh. Golly. Oh! Hey there, little lady. How you feeling today? Alright, I suppose. Uh, who is this? M my name is Miles Edgeworth. My, my, my! A handsome boy such as yourself is always welcome in our temple. <laughs> Oh, if custom if circumstances weren't so tragic, I might just, I don't know, slob on your face a little. Please don't call me boy. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. Well, you found her, hun. Now, what can I do for you? Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. That's because it's on all these garments, baby. If you want to see it, you got to get to know me a little better. <laughs> If you ask nicely, I might give you a pe- Oh my god. Oh my god. 
uh, Mr. Edgeworth, that constitutes as harassment. I was a witness. Uh, do you want to press charges? That's, that's all right. Let's focus. This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness I was talking about, okay? Why didn't you tell me that earlier? I thought it was applied! I thought it was applied! This is exactly why your salary keeps getting cut. You keep cutting corners. <laughs> My stomach's already growling in protest. Great. Uh, what's the latest... What's the latest about my beloved Iris? What is that face? She looks almost like a JoJo character. Look at that. Look at that detail. Ugh. Well, <clears throat> first, I want to hear what you know. A trade, if you will. Where I have the distinct advantage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, so, were you the one that reported the lightning bolt? Ain't that silly? First, I'd like to ask you about last night, Miss Bikini. Well, last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. She must be talking about Maya Fey. Okay. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was about nine o'clock when we left there. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. We have to get our vittles before we head out to do a vittle bit of training, you see. <laughs> I don't actually do the training, though. I just supervise, but... Right. The channeling dojo's head nun must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Wow, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Just staring and staring at a girl sitting on an ice cube. Real taxing stuff. Detective, this is no time for flattery. <laughs> so Sorry. Uh... Sometime around 11 p.m., you witnessed the incident in the courtyard, but your duty was in the inner temple. Why did you come back here, exactly? Uh, the way you're staring at me, I'm trying to get- I'm starting to get goosebumps! <laughs> this poor lady. She's out here in the mountains. But at the same time, you gotta control yourself. A woman died. Let's focus, okay? I'm starting to get goosebumps myself, but for decidedly different reasons. <laughs> I think you got another fan, Edgy boy. <laughs> you get the chills pretty easy, don't you? There's a lot of unfortunately old bags in this franchise. Uh, anyway, can you tell me exactly what you saw? I'd like to tell you... Okay, just... I gotta stop doing that. Keep protecting the future. It's ticking me off. It must have been past, oh, I don't know, 11 p.m. Oh, no, I can't say it. It's the too, too, too much of my poor heart. Hey, calm down, lady. Just whisper in my ear. I'll tell you. Please. After I'm going to die. Uh, what the frick? I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground, and the, the other one was stabbing her from the back with a sword. Like one of those dog souls in Vegas. D did you see this criminal with your own eyes? I don't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. D d well, god dang! But wait, then how did the sword get back on the statue? It you must have been quite shocked. Of course he was, man! God! Try putting yourself in her shoes. Feel like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright smack dab in the middle of a courtroom with a big old buster sword. And it happened to witness it, and I was the witness to it on the stand. How do you think I would feel that you destroyed once and for all our arch enemy? Yeah, I'd be pretty shocked, to say the least. <laughs> I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw, okay? And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed! <laughs> and then I passed out. I didn't make a sound when I passed out, though. Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. I have a couple of, uh... Arguments, though? One... Does the autopsy report say she got stabbed, like, through the chest? Like, cause, oh my god, that's an awful way to go out. We don't have the autopsy report yet, so we don't know. But also, if it's anything like a... Okay, let's just assume... Okay, I don't know everything about swords, right? But I know this much. 
That type of sword is insanely impractical because you'd stab somebody one time and it'd be almost impossible to rip out. The reason I know this is because of how fishing hooks work. And you couldn't really do that. You can't, you can unhook one fish's lip, right? And throw him back, you know. Cause we, we ain't trying to hurt Mother Nature, but you know, we, let's give him a, hey, listen, I don't know. Fishing's effed up, but you know, it's fun. <laughs> anyway, the morals of fishing can wait. If you got seven hooks, god dang, that's why I don't use those like triple hooks, bro. Them suckers suck. Cause you get one in the body and you get one on the lip, like you, it, it's, it's a pain. Anyway, fishing knowledge time is over. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems, uh, unnatural. Unnatural. Are they gonna pull a case two again? The girl I know simply isn't capable of that sort of foulness, let alone the level of upper body strength. I wonder what she means by that. Okay, so why'd you come back? As the head nun, it's your duty to supervise this acolyte, correct? Yes, that's my job, and I'm very good at it, handsome. I know I may look strong, but the truth is, I've got a bad lower back. Bad lower back? Oh, that's too bad. Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. So bad that I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was that night? My bad back felt as stiff as a frozen glass. A glass of limeade? Limeade, I tell you! I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to main hall. Okay. I mean, sure. We don't necessarily know her age, so it's possible. And anyone can have back pains. Just saying. Some ladies, you know, anyway. Let's let's just be on being buxom seems like not all that worth it. Like I don't know, just my perspective. So you left the disciple all alone. To soothe your back. My, what a professional. Don't be ridiculous. I would never do such a thing. That's why I ordered Iris to remain inside the inner temple after she rung the bell for lights out. But she never went to the inner temple, did she? So did this head nun actually see Iris there? I do wonder. Hmm. Think I better try to get more details out. Okay. The Acolyte. So who is this Acolyte that was to train at the Inner Temple? Her name is Maya Fey. I treated her very badly, and I'm ashamed to say it, but honestly, in a karmatic way, I think she kind of earned it. With all that cursing and witchcraft she does. After which she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course? Uh, are there any leftovers I'd like to- I'd like to gather some evidence. Oh, it's not a meal, honey. It's a- it's a training session when you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 3,000 times. You, you don't mean to tell me she's still doing that over in the inner temple? No, 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 of course not. You don't have to worry about that one a little bit. Last night we still hadn't started the training session itself. Uh, well then, that's good to hear. Oh dear, oh dear. There's one thing I forgot to tell you. Uh, I don't think I like where this is heading. Do you know that small girl? I believe she's Mystic Maya's little sister. Maya has a little sister? Oh, you mean Pearly Faye. Yeah, she's a cousin, and she's adorable. Little Pearl? Okay. I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after we'd finished with dinner cleaned up, but I haven't seen her since. She's nowhere to be found. I'm gonna need a minute. This ain't funny. This is F dub. You, you, you mean she 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 was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid creaky old back. Ah! <laughs> Curse old age. A little girl who is the victim of the night of the murder is gone. Who is with the victim? If they kill if they kill pearls, I'm gonna cry. Like I'm dead effing serious. That's not funny. As they say, the plot thickens. Ugh. This, this just effing sucks. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. Um, weather data. Yeah, you gathered this too, right? Like, any comments on this? About this here. Uh, let me see. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is, we strive to break our attachment to such of the transient material realm. I guess you could call me an immaterial girl. Come on, me, me, and I was... It's not a clap in that song, but I just had to clap. 
Uh, anyway. I guess she lives in an uh, immaterial world, Mr. Edgeworth. Quite the opposite of the Madonna song. But you know, despite what the lyrics say, she's not actually a material girl because you can't really buy true attachment to a man. Fun fact, I know, I, okay, uh, uh, she says the same thing with Iris's hood? Well, 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 that's a demon warding hood. Acolytes are highly susceptible to possession by evil spirits, you know. That's why we always wear those provo protection, you see. Right. It says on the back, made in, uh, Manitoba. Well, you know the manufacturers. <laughs> what are you waiting for? You don't want to get. You don't want any protection. Just by holding it, you know. You must wear it. Don it, sir. Put it on, please. Oh, you look so. I. I, I can't. Well, I just. Oh. <laughs> oh, he looks like a dingus. It's like it was made just for you, Edgeworth. What? What do you mean by that, detective? It looks absolutely marvelous. You just have to keep it on while you're here. Is this some sort of divine rep retribution? No, I refuse. A back in the evidence locker. Okay. Guess we're not getting much out of her. Oh my effing god! Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. What the heck? This is where the murder took place, sir. That Irish. That deadly harlot slashed and pierced her back with reckless abandon. Oh, uh, other than removing the body, we left everything untouched. Except for the snow, we can't really, can't really, you know. Thank you, detective. I'll just have a little look around, if you don't mind. Looks like the police are still investigating here. By the way, I thought I'd better ask just to be sure. Are you really going to defend that nun? That bloodthirsty killer, Iris, at the trial tomorrow? Like, you don't got, you don't got to, man. You don't, you don't have to. <sighs> yes, I will. I gave her my word, and now I must follow through with my commitment. That's just the type of man I am, I suppose. Well, in that case, uh, I got to be careful. Gotta make sure I don't leak the prosecution's old investigation. I thought we got there before. Uh, what? I thought we got here before him. What? Don't worry about it, detective. Just keep your mouth closed, and I think most of it will flow out on its own. <laughs> you got it, sir. I'll make sure it flows out like tap water from a uh, a tap. Yeah. Yes, you do that, detective. Just how much has your runny spout leaked over the years? Oh, jeez. All right, so let's look around here. Come on, come on. Let's let's see. Let's see what we're looking at. Now we got a giant freaking sword the size of a lady being wielded by a lady. Now I'm no lifting expert, but I think you have to weigh more than something almost to be able to pick it up. Unless you push in with your legs, because legs are really strong. A lot stronger than your upper body. So the sword from this gold statue is actually a murder weapon. Wow. It's true. They call it the Shishishito. By the way, nasty piece of work. What diabolical demon would even forge something this vile? There's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood? Well, they say never assume anything, but yeah, you got it right. Good job. And speaking of all, all over the blade. There are fingerprints on the hilt of the Shishishito, too. Fingerprints? Naturally, they match the prints we got from the younger nun. The defendant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Her fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Great. Okay. What's wrong? You look you look really sad all of a sudden. Did I say something bad? I did. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't have manners. You know, I, I grew up from Minnesota and don't worry about it. I, is this how it was for right? Is this what it's like to be a defense attorney? Uh, yeah, I think the murder weapons had fingerprints of the, the defendant like nine times out of like 15 cases kind of thing. But I, I, yeah, it doesn't look too good. To be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. Oh my god. 
Okay, yeah, we can, come on. Yeah, but well, we've done it before. We can do it again. What's this doing here? The main gate must just be over that stone wall. Ah, uh, stone walls. Ah. Uh, jumped over a few of those back in the day. Why would you do such a thing? Most of them are good memories, but not all. There's just one time. Detective, perhaps someone should introduce you to the concept of... paucity of words. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I thought they were gonna like make another ladder joke, but I guess they didn't. Is that like? But they, that wasn't added to the court record, so that can't be evidence. What? What is up with this though? Is that just a rock, or is there something down there? Cause that looks a little odd. Spooky. I just love skiing, edgy boy. When we how about this? When we get done with this whole thing, why don't we go on a little ski trip? You don't. Uh. Look like the type that would ski, if I'm being frank. Well, what about sleds? Sleds, uh, nah, they're too giddy for me, you know. Messes with my hard-boiled image. But skiing's just fine. That's manly. For some reason or another. What's with the silence, Edgeworth? Come on, I'm cool, I'm hip! Uh, is this world starting to go mad? What is, what is wrong, what is wrong with that? He's a little hard-boiled, then you get to know him and you realize he's silly. Also, what's up there? Oh god, there's so many like little secrets here, dude. It's like the perfect place to stage a murder. It's a lantern. I suppose the light is on at night. Something elegant about the light of a fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in a room by candlelight. It's also because they turn off my power over at my apartment, but... Detective, can you not afford to pay? <laughs> that was the... Okay. I guess that was kind of obvious. How'd you know? Just a hunch, I guess. Let's get down to business. What is this? Looks like a wizard's staff. <gasps> the amethyst is gone. What? What? That belonged to the victim. Elise Dinoom. There's nothing strange or magical about it, I'm afraid. Oh yeah, listen to this, just between us, okay, sir, but I'm gonna leak some, like, I'm gonna leak some info real quick. Uh, sure, what is it? This is top secret stuff, don't tell nobody about this. Okay. The truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why didn't you? I never got the letter to go to Hogwarts! Can you believe that? I don't... I... I stupid owls. That, that's it? That, that's what you wanted to tell me? Uh... Yeah, that's about it. The staff was made from a very strong kind of wood. Most likely mahogany. What about fingerprints? Were there any on it? Just the victims, I'm afraid. Okay. Phoenix, or no, ah, oh, this sucks, because Edgeworth doesn't know the Amethyst was there. They mentioned that for a reason. I thought she was just being a little quirky and silly. I guess not. Hey, what's up here? The main hall of the Hazakura Temple is above us. Hey, you're right. Pretty sure the main hall didn't have a second floor. Weird. Hazakura Temple is built on a steep part of the mountain. The front and back of the main hall are on different levels. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay. Would it be easier just to build the place slanted, sir? Uh, I fail to see how he could consider that to be even a remotely good idea. I guess there's a reason he's a police officer and not an architect. Well, it's, uh, well I think we got most of everything here. Now it's just down to his, uh, you know, what he thinks about it. The victim is the famous picture book author, Elise Dinu. Her entire past up until now. Until she won that award winning, uh, uh, yeah, she, she, she's a mystery, okay? God, I stumbled on my words. I need, I need a sip. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, that is the spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, just one more sip. Come on. Oh, the third, the third taste was bitter. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, right. It's hard to believe, in this day and age, you can still find people with mysterious pasts. The estimated time of death the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February the 7th. Cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab to the back by a murder weapon. The murder weapon. 
<laughs> we definitely did these out of order, Jesus. Victim was found skewered with a giant sword, sir. Oh my god. That's terrible. Yeah, but there's one strange thing. I yes. The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. What? The bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. What the heck? A two-story building? Like the main hall. Not be about the same height as that room in front of us, correct? Hey, you're right! Way to go, Edgeworth. It just happened to be the room that Elise Dunum was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out the window after she was stabbed by the sword. <sighs> Jesus, there you go. But how'd you get the sword out? Okay, for... Maybe I'm wrong about the fishhook theory. I don't know. The game is telling us otherwise. So until we have evidence to, like, counter that, let's just take it as face value. I mean, obviously we have to believe in our client, but, you know. <laughs> this app, this option. What happened? Edge, Edgeworth wants to What happened? Uh, we're not going to get that answer for, like, an hour six hours. Now then, detective, let's see if we can summarize what we've learned so far. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. So we got a... Uh, there's a tree, there's a cliff, there's a road, there's a... Br oh, yeah, and according to the testimony, Sister Bikini, the head nun... Right after they finished dinner, she and Maya Fey head to the inner temple. I get it. Y yes, that's where they went. At 10 p.m. after ringing the bell for lights out, Iris went to the inner temple. The bell could have been signaling, you know. Maybe Bikini could have heard that from that distance. Once she got there, Bikini heard... Had her take over while she went to Azakura Temple to Bathe. I I I don't know. Usually hot. I'm I mean I'm not that old yet, so maybe it helps her back. I don't know. After taking a hot bathe to soothe her back. Well, that's when she saw it. It was that dumb. Sister Bakainai witnessed the murder in the courtyard. But how is that possible? Yeah. Iris was with Maya. And until we get Maya's testimony, what? If you want more details, you should ask Bakaina yourself, sir. The inner temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. All right, let's get it. What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to Bikini, it's an old building they use for training the acolytes. It's on the other side of the dusky bridge bridge that burned down. Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge? Nope, not a thing. As far as we know. Nothing at all. The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides, sir. Okay. So that rules out you could, you know, somehow take a... What are they called? It's a thing outside in the main hall. I don't know. I don't live in a snowy area. It's like a moped, but for a snow pad. You know what I'm saying? Like making a got you know. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. Uh, except there's no water. Well, I mean there is water, but it's a brick. You get what I'm saying? Right? Yes, I do. So the only thing there is the inner temple. Got it. It's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Please be okay, Maya. Oh, Edward's worried about Maya. I mean, obviously he doesn't want the death of innocence, right? But like. I don't know. I'm surprised by that for some reason. He's come a long way, dude. I mean, he's still kind of ruthless, but he's ruthless in like an epic way. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow's trial. Well, tomorrow's trial, namely, begins tomorrow. But who's the prosecutor? Pretty sure it's that Goto guy, but, uh, no one get a hold of him. They're looking for a replacement. What, what do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach the guy. Wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caught a cold, he won't be defending. He lost the interest. <laughs> I intend to appear in court in the same role defense attorney. However, it, I would be quite unhappy if it came out that I was actually a pros came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I can see why, but I'm not the one you have to worry about. I think the real problem is gonna be that judge. You two are kinda buddy buddy. In a way, yes, he certainly would remember my face, even after such a long absence. 
Is Edgeworth gonna wear a mask? <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's why I request that another judge preside over the trial tomorrow. Oh, I don't get that stupid effing awful. I'll try and figure out a better accent. I don't know. We've only met each other once. There's a good chance you won't remember me at all. Oh, we don't get the actual. We don't get the actual judge for the final case. That kind of upsets me. No. Yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office must know who you are. Wouldn't be a problem if someone there made a big stink, right? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Huh? Mr. Redworth, I have no idea you're so powerful at pulling strings. How don't you break them? That's crazy. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I tried. Who the heck is going to be the prosecutor? I don't know. Do we have any evidence? Oh, yeah. So let's ask about this. Uh, about this. Okay. She's going to blah, blah, blah. I'm going to match you, you girl. Okay, whatever. Yeah, the answer is yes. Well, how about that? Crud. I, I guess we're not getting any more info out of Bikini. Do we go back to... Oh, oh. I was going to go to the, you know, detention center, but this works too. Hmm. Was that snowpad always there? I don't see Larry anywhere. Maybe you got scared. The you be scared the poor kid away because you're so cool and he's so light. His heart was shut tight with a number of psych locks. What a shame! I would have loved to open them up. Guess I'll have to look for him now. What a thorn in my side. Yeah, no kidding. Larry? Ah, just me again. Sorry. I can pretend to be Larry. Nah, that's all right. Uh, looks like we found the right spot. Hello again. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth. I came back because I need to ask you for more things. If you don't mind. But I already told you everything that I... Uh, I doubt that. Iris, please remember, I'm on your side. So just tell me everything. Understood? Yes. Thank you. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Cyclock time, baby! Manga time, time! Time to pry open these lies! Oh, there's only two. That's not so bad. 